Hello students. Today we are going to talk about the measurement of length. At primary level, you were introduced to the measurement of length, its units, that is, kilometers, meters, centimeters, and millimeters. The conversion between these units, and you also have an idea of how to use the measurement of length in calculating perimeter and area. Well, in today's lesson, we are going to have a closer look to the measurement of length, its application to the real life, the different units of length, the conversions between them, and finally, we are going to see how we use the measurement of length in calculating perimeter and area of plane figures. In today's program, we are going to have a closer look at the measurement of length, its application to the real life, the different units of length, the conversion between them, and finally, we are going to see how to use the measurement of length in calculating perimeter and area of plane figures. First of all, let me ask you a few questions. Why do we need to measure length of an object? Have you ever measured length of an object as a practical need in the real life? Are there some professions where the measurement of length is used as part of their daily task? I'm sure you have an answer to these questions, but let me give you some examples. Consider these two pencils. If I ask you which one is longer, definitely you will say the red one is longer. But if I ask you by how much the red one is longer than the blue one, definitely you will have to measure both pencils, then find the difference between them. So this is an example where we use measurement of length. Now let's take the example that your parent decide to change the curtains at home. What are you going to consider before deciding on the dimension of curtain to buy? Definitely you are going to measure the length of windows and doors. As part of their daily job, tailors, carpenters, engineers, architects use the measurement of length. So, we have seen that the measurement of length is present all around us. So, let's go to the definition of length. Length is the distance between two points. As you can see here, I repeat, length is the distance between two points. If we take the example of this table, the distance between one side of the table to the other side is called the length of the table. Now have a look at this pencil. The distance between the tip of the pencil to the other end is called the length of the pencil. Now, if I ask you, how are you going to measure the length of this table? Are you thinking about a ruler, a measuring tape, or any measuring tools? You are right. But before talking about these measuring tools, have you ever thought how people were measuring length in the ancient time? Well, long ago, people were using their body parts as a sort of measuring tool. For example, people were using the hand span the cubit the foot span and the strides However, these ways of measurement consisted of lots of constraint and inaccuracy, especially because not everyone has 
the same body measurement. For example, if we consider the length of this table, if I measure it with my hand span, then you come, you measure it with your hand span. Do you think we are going to obtain the same number of hand span? Of course not. Because the dimension of my hand span and that of yours might not be the same. Another example, if you consider the room where you are, if you walk from one side to the other side, you count number of strides, then your parent do the same. Are you going to obtain the same number of strides? Try it when you have some time. So we have seen that not everyone has the same dimension of their body parts. So we need to have a standard measurement to measure length. With the communication and interaction among people from different parts of the world, there has been the necessity to adopt a standard unit. So in 1960, the international system of units called SI unit was adopted by a large majority of countries. The SI units consist of six base units, among which is the meter to measure length. If you want to have some more information about history of measurement of length, you can consult the following website where you will have more information on how we have reached the meter to be used as the SI unit for length. Now, have a look at this object. This ruler has a length of exactly one meter. It is called a meter rule. This length of one meter is same across the world. Whether you go to Réunion Island, to South Africa, to India, to Europe, to America, wherever you go in the world, the length of one meter is same. However, we do not use only meter as a unit of measurement for length. For instance, if I want to measure the length of this pencil with this meter rule, instead of saying this pencil is one-tenth of one meter, it is more appropriate to use a smaller unit to measure this pencil. Also, if I ask you, what is the distance between your house and your school? Instead of telling me hundreds of meters or thousands of meters, it is more appropriate to use a bigger unit called kilometers. So, if we take this one meter, we divide it in smaller parts, we will obtain the centimeter. If we take the centimeter, we divide it into smaller units, we will obtain the millimeter. So, the millimeter is the smaller unit, and I've just told you, the kilometer is multiples of meters, it is a larger unit. As you can see on the diagram here, we have the smaller unit, the millimeter, and the bigger unit, the kilometers. So the millimeter is the smaller unit and the kilometer is the bigger unit. Before going to the conversion of units, that is to convert from kilometer to meter, meter to centimeter, and so on, Let's have a look at some different measuring tools that we use frequently. First, let's look at the ruler. You must have one at home because a ruler is a vital equipment for learning mathematics. This 30 centimeter ruler is used to measure small objects in centimeter and sometimes in millimeters. This is called a measuring tape. This measuring tape is used mainly by carpenters and builders. Small 
measuring tips can measure up to three meters, whereas we have larger tips which can measure up to 100 meters. This one also is called a measuring tape. It is used mainly by tailors. You must have seen one if you went to the tailor shop to stitch your new uniform. This one is called a surveyor's tool. It is used to measure longer distances through an electronic device attached to it. Now, let's have a look at how to convert between different units of length. In one meter, we have 100 centimeters. In one centimeter, we have 10 millimeters. In one meter, we have 1,000 millimeters. And in one kilometer, we have 1,000 meters. You need to remember these conversions. So let me help you to find a way of remembering this conversion of units. Let me write these different units starting from the bigger unit called kilometer. Then we have the meter, we have the centimeter, and we have the millimeter. If you want to convert from kilometer to meter, we are going to multiply by 1,000. If we want to convert meter to centimeter, we are going to multiply by 100. If we want to convert centimeter to millimeter, we are going to multiply by 10. In fact, it is a quite easy way to remember the conversions. Because here, these are multiples of 10. We have 10, 100, 1,000. If we start from kilometer to millimeter, we multiply by 1,000, 110. However, if you want to convert directly from meter to millimeter, you can do so by just multiplying by. Here we have 100 and 10, so we multiply by 1,000. Because 10 times 100 is 1,000. Now, if we want to move backward, that is starting with a smaller unit, then going backward to a bigger unit, we are going to do the reverse process. The reverse process of multiplication is definitely division. So from millimeter to centimeter, we are going to divide by 10. From centimeter to meter, we are going to divide by 100. And from meter to kilometer, we are going to divide by 1,000. Exactly the reverse of the first part. Now, if we want to convert directly millimeter to meter, we are going to divide by 10 times 100 is 1,000. So you need to remember this. Here it's written to convert length from larger to smaller unit, we multiply by relevant powers of 10, that is 10, 100, 1,000. To convert length from smaller unit to larger unit, we divide by relevant powers of 10 again, that is 10, 100, and 1,000. Let me now show you how to do the conversion. Suppose you are asked to convert 3 kilometers into meters. Looking at this picture, from kilometer to meter, we must multiply by 1,000. So 3 kilometer equal to 3 times 1,000 meters. It is equal to, yes, 3,000 meters. Now, if you want to convert 50 millimeter into centimeter, we look at our figure here. From millimeter to centimeter, we are going to divide by 10. So 50 millimeter equal to 50 divided by 10 equal to 5 centimeter. I think 
As long as you remember this figure, you will not have any problem in doing these conversions. Let me now show you some more examples on the conversion of length. The first one, convert the following into meters. First, 3.5 kilometers. Second, 4.5 kilometers. Third, 255 centimeters. As I've told you, you need to remember this diagram. Looking at the diagram, when converting 3.5 kilometers, we must perform multiplication of 1,000. So 3.5 times 1,000 equal to 3,500 meters. Then 4.5 kilometers, here we have a fraction. You must have learned in the chapter fractions how to do multiplication. So 4.5 is same as 9 over 2 times 1,000, and it is 4,500 meters. 255 centimeter, looking at the diagram from centimeter to meter, we must divide by 100. So 255 divided by 100 is 2.55 meters. Let's look at a second example. Here, we need to convert the following into centimeter. First, 2.5 meter, and then 6 kilometers. So 2.5 meter equal to 2.5 times 100. Again, looking at the diagram from meter to centimeter, we multiply by 100. So the answer is 250 centimeter. Six kilometers into meters, six times 1,000 equal to 6,000 meters. Okay, but you were asked to convert into centimeter. The first part you have converted into meter. Now to convert into centimeter, we again multiply by 100. So the answer is 600,000 centimeters. Now we shall proceed with arithmetic operation involving length. Consider the following calculations. 3 kilometer plus 300 meter plus 50 centimeter. If you are asked to evaluate the following, giving your answer in meters. As you can see here, we have three different units. We have kilometer, meter, and centimeter. We cannot work with these different units. To be able to perform this calculation, we need to convert the three into one single unit. <coughs> but since in this question you are asked to give your answer in meters, first we shall convert three kilometer into meter. Remember your diagram from kilometer to meter? We are going to multiply by one thousand. So it is three thousand meters. Three hundred meters is already in meters. So I keep it 300. Then I have 50 centimeter. Now, from centimeter to meter, we need to do division. So 50 divided by 100. You can perform the calculation. It is 0 0.5. We write it here, 0 0.5. Now, the question was to add this Free. So while adding this free, we are going to have here 0 0.5, 0, 0, 3, 3. So the answer is 3,300.5 meters. Again, one thing that is very important is that whenever you are working with different units to be able to perform the operation, all the numbers should be converted in a single unit. Let's have some more examples. Look at the first example here. Evaluate the following, giving your answer in millimeters. So first, we convert meter into millimeter. We multiply by 1,000. It is 8,000 millimeters. 
Then 30 centimeter to be converted into millimeter, we multiply by 10, it is 300 millimeters. And 8 millimeter is already in millimeter. While adding, we have the answer as 8,308 millimeters. Okay, let's look at a second example. Evaluate the following, giving your answer in kilometers. Again, we have different units. The first thing that we have to do is to convert all these numbers in a single unit. Since the question is to give your answer in kilometer, we shall convert each of these numbers in kilometer. So 8 kilometer is already in kilometers. 300 meters, we must divide by 1,000 to obtain 0 0.3 kilometers. Now we add these two, we have 8.3 kilometers. In the question, you are asked to subtract 800 meters from it. But since we are in kilometers, now we convert 800 meters into kilometers by dividing by 1,000. So it is 0 0.8 kilometers. So the answer is 8.3 kilometers. Subtracting 0 0.8 kilometers equal to 7.5 kilometers. The answer is 7.5 kilometers. Now we shall proceed with some word problems involving length. The first example is Yesha's house is 5 kilometers, 300 meters away from school, while Arsad's house is 10 kilometers, 430 meters away from school. What house is more distant and by how much? So first we have Yesha's house, which is 5 kilometers, 300 meters away from school. Then Arshad's house, which is 10 kilometers, 430 meters. Now to find the difference, we must perform subtraction. While subtracting 10 kilometers, 430 meters, we must subtract 5 kilometers, 300 meters from it. We have 5 kilometers, 130 meters. So the answer is... Ashad's house is more distant by 5 kilometers, 130 meters. Now, let's look at another example. In this example here, we have the total length of three metal bars is 38.25 meters. If the length of two bars are 14 meters, 30 centimeters each, calculate the length of the third bar in meters. So the length of two bars together is 2 times 14 meter 30 centimeter is equal to 28 meter 60 centimeter. So we need to convert this 60 centimeter into meter. So we divide by 100, it is 0.6. The third bar is 38.25 meter. We subtract the total of the first two bar to obtain 9.65 meters. Now, I'm going to give you some more questions for practice. You can ask your teacher or parents to help you. So, the first question is, convert the following measurements to the units indicated. Then, we have some word problems. Now, let's look at what we have done so far in this chapter. In this lesson, we have learned why do we need to measure length. The use of measurements of length in real life. The different units of length. The conversion between the different units of length. And finally, word problems based on length. Whatever we have done today, the most important part is the conversion between the different units of length. Let me summarize this for you. We had different units of length. If we want to convert from kilometer to meter, we multiply by 1,000. From meter to centimeter, we multiply by 100. From centimeter to millimeter, we multiply by 10. Then moving backward from millimeter to centimeter, we divide by 10. From centimeter 
to meter, we divide by 100. And from meter to kilometer, we divide by 1,000. I've also told you that if you want to directly convert meter to millimeter, we multiply by 1,000. And backward, from millimeter to meter, we divide by 1,000. So this program ends here, but not this chapter on measurement of length. I shall see you again in the next program to look at how we use the measurement of length in perimeter and area. Till then, goodbye.